Angelina Jolie has long been gracing our screens with her beauty and Oscar worthy roles. Although she's a prominent actress in Hollywood, she's also well known for her humanitarian efforts. Considering this and the fact that three of her six children were adopted internationally, Los Angeles isn't the only place she calls home. We'll take a look at Angelina's home base in Los Feliz, her getaway in Cambodia and more. We even found some of the listings. Angelina Jolie is an actress, filmmaker, and humanitarian. She's received numerous awards and accolades over her career, including an Academy Award and three Golden Globes. In addition to being an actress, she's noted for her humanitarian efforts, even receiving awards for this side of her work. Angelina is passionate about many causes, from conservation to education to women's rights, and is most noted for her advocacy on behalf of refugees. As I mentioned, three of Angelina's six children were internationally adopted and of course she spends a lot of her time traveling too, but maybe a little less right now because of the pandemic. Although it was recently said she was uprooting the family to Africa, that's proven to have been a rumor. I don't think Mr. Pitt would have been too fond of that. Cited as Hollywood's highest paid actress multiple times, Angelina has an estimated net worth of about $160 million at the moment, affording her the most beautiful of homes. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys have been requesting this one, so we'll be looking at where Angelina Jolie calls home, like her current estate in Los Angeles, her getaway in Cambodia, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and Megan Fox and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we jump into where Angelina is currently living, let's take a look at an iconic place she lived while she was still with Brad, Chateau Miraval. This one is worth a look because I totally remember the couple living here and it's phenomenal to say the least. Considering Angelina and Brad were the most famous couple in the world at one point, they had to go above and beyond when purchasing real estate, especially to house their large family. The Chateau Miraval seemed up to their standards, which is essentially a castle and vineyard in the south of France. Talk about lavish. The spectacular property property lies in the village of Corrins, France, and Angelina and Brad scouted the land via helicopter in 2008, leasing it for three years before finalizing the purchase. By 2001, the duo reportedly spent $67 million to buy the chateau. The property boasts 35 rooms in an estate situated on an ancient Roman road. The 17th century estate is straight out of a fairy tale with olive groves, fountains, a private lake, a helicopter pad, and a moat. Well, I don't think there were helicopter pads the medieval ages, but I'll say a modern fairy tale. Angelina's previous French castle sat on 1,200 acres of land apparently and hosted an award-winning vineyard where their own wine is produced, Chateau Miraval Rosé. What's more is Angelina and Brad married in the property's chapel back in 2014. Maybe that's one reason why they wanted to unload this place. Despite the beauty of Chateau Miraval, it may have been too good to be true. It became a major point of conflict for Angelina and Brad once they split up, going back and forth in court deciding what to do with it. Angelina wanted to keep the estate because it was allegedly her idea to purchase it, but Brad wasn't letting it go that easily. By the end of 2019, the former flames still co-owned Chateau Miraval and continued to produce a lot of wines, so who knows what's going on. When it came time for Angelina to start fresh and move into a new home post-divorce, of course she found a luxurious estate for her and the family that just screams old Hollywood charm. If you've ever heard this saying, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up, you may know that Cecile DeMille was one of the most iconic filmmakers in the early days of Hollywood. All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. And Angelina's mansion, well, it used to belong to him. It's only fitting that Angelina, one of the most affluent A-list actresses, would jump at the chance to purchase the Cecile DeMille estate in Los Feliz, regardless of the record-breaking price at $24.5 million. We hear the historic home is Angelina's main residence, and in the neighborhood of Los Feliz, she's surrounded by neighbors like Natalie Portman, Kristen Bell, and more. Angelina's mansion was built in 1913, and most of the estate recently went through a thorough restoration, taking six years to complete. 
In total, there's about 11,000 square feet of living space divided between more than one structure, as well as six beds and 10 baths. It's really just as massive as you'd imagine. The home sits on 2.1 acres of land in the gated and private Lawland Park community, offering breathtaking views of both the city and the ocean. Angelina's main house on the property spans 7,500 square feet and apparently it underwent the largest revamp. Although the original style of the house was kept intact, every modern amenity you could think of was added. Delicate mold arched French doors and other touches all play a role in keeping the old Hollywood vibe alive here. Intricate architecture and detailed designs are a theme throughout Angelina's home. The main residence is an Italian revival villa and walking in the grand foyer has a spiral staircase, double height ceiling and dark hardwood floors. Other common areas here include a step down living room with fireplace and a mahogany paneled formal dining room with another fireplace. In total, four fireplaces can be found throughout the estate. Other areas for Angelina to hang out with the kids include a spacious library with high ceilings and built-in bookcases, a family room, and an adjoining office or study. Her updated kitchen offers another casual dining area set against arch windows. Upstairs, you'll find the bedrooms and several bathrooms, which have kept the original Art Deco style of the property as well. We can see Angelina's master suite here holds another one of the gorgeous fireplaces. In addition to the main home, there's a separate pool house on the property with state-of-the-art gym, as well as a tea house and a self-contained guest house. If you're interested in the history, Demille added on the main structure gradually back in the day. The second smaller home he added to the property was even once occupied by Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> The grounds of Angelina's family mansion offer rose gardens, and manicured lawns, and mature trees, which the tea house overlooks. There's also a swimming pool with classic arched fountains on either side, and elsewhere a gated motor court and detached garage. Apart from Angelina's gorgeous estate in Los Feliz, Angelina also owns property in the jungle of Cambodia. It's here in Cambodia. It's more personal to me. It's more intimate. It's more alive. There's more freedom. Which has actually caused quite a bit of controversy. Apparently the actress purchased the land from a war criminal, but hasn't commented on this. Although we haven't seen much of Angelina's secret hideaway, it's said she bought an 18.5 acre plot of land in Cambodia back in 2002 from a commander charged in 2015 with mass murder. The notorious commander is said to be responsible for the deaths of 600,000 people about 40 years ago, but reports say he received 35k from Angelina to vacate the huge patch of land. Angelina and her children often spend holidays at this jungle oasis and it doubles as a compound for her charity, MJP Foundation. Since the initial land purchase, the actress has added on to the property, building a getaway home and a forestry base for her charity. Villagers have claimed she's planning an eco-resort on the once heavily landmined site. Despite the dark past of this land, Angelina has created a beautiful home here and has been working for almost two decades to help conserve the environment and support local communities. Although we haven't seen much of her house and details are kept private, she shot a perfume commercial here in summer 2019. The behind the scenes video shows some of Angelina's property, including the traditional Cambodian longhouse and tropical surroundings. So now we've taken a look at Angelina Jolie's homes, including her previous Chateau Miraval in France, her current home in Los Feliz, and what we know about her Cambodian property. After looking at her places, what did you think? I really think her main estate in Los Angeles is gorgeous and suits her perfectly with its history and old Hollywood charm. I've gotta say that this one is my fave and Angelina has owned some really nice houses over the years too. Anyways, be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as whose house tour should be up next. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat, be sure to like, hit subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!